Hey guys, what's up? My name's Landon. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why we shouldn't just sit here and wait for God to come back. And before we start this video, I want to clear this up. There's a difference between glad that if God comes back during your time or you want God to come back and waiting for him to come back. Some people, they'll be like, oh, I'm just waiting for God to come back. I'm just going to sit here and wait. That's not what God called us to do. He didn't call us on this earth and bring us on this earth to sit here and wait for him, even if he, and that's if he even does come back in our lifetime. God called us to go fill out the Great Commission in Matthew 28. I forgot. We shouldn't be just sitting here waiting on God. We should be sitting here filling out God's word and his, like, his mission that he has for us and his plan. We shouldn't just be waiting on him for him to come back when we don't even know if he's gonna come back yet. Because he did say, you can't say that you know he's gonna come back in this lifetime. Because he did say that no one will be able to predict it and only he knows when he comes back. So we can't, you can't say you know that he's coming back because he said of himself that you won't know. He'll come like a thief in the night. And we shouldn't just sit here and wait on God because first we don't even know if he's gonna be coming in our lifetime. Second of all, we, sh we should be filling out God's not word, not just sitting here being lazy Christians. You're basically being a lukewarm Christian if you're just sitting there like, oh, what do you do? Just waiting on God. Can't wait, I'm just waiting on God. Well, you don't even know that's gonna happen. And we should be going out and preaching the word to all the nations, the, uh, what you want to call it? Great Commission. It should be getting in God's word every single day and just filling out what he has for us and his purpose and what he wants us to do every single day and being able to live more and more like him every single day. We shouldn't just sit here and be lazy Christians. We can't afford to do that anymore. We know that our world, and y'all can testify for me, is crumbling to bits and pieces every single day and the wickedness is taking over this world. And we can't just sit, afford to sit here as Christians and do nothing about it. We have to go out there and we have to preach the word of God or just at least let his light shine through you. Do what he has called you to do. Stop sitting around and being lazy and just being waiting for God when you don't even know if he's gonna come back. We shouldn't sit here and be lazy. We need to go and be proactive in the word of God and need to go out and preach the gospel. And it doesn't have to be this big old ministry thing. Everyone is called to do something different. You may be called to do something in your town. You may be called to do this or that. Everyone has a different calling. Figure out your calling, spend time with God, and start getting to the word. Even if it's just for right now, you may be called into some big old ministry, but maybe for right now, God's just preparing you and getting you up and molding you right. So respect the process, because when you get into that, you are put into a big responsibility. God, sometimes God is taking us to mold us and he may put people in our lives for us to minister to and bring out and plant a seed in and just like all of a sudden or you're shining your light into someone's God's light that he stored in you onto someone and they notice that you're different or you're always happy and in a good mood and you're always this and that and it's like, why are you like that? It's because God's living inside of you. We shouldn't afford just to sit here and just do whatever we want. And just sit here and be like, I'm just going to wait for God to come back. You shouldn't be waiting for God to come back because you're probably not going with him when he comes back. If you're just sitting there waiting, being a lazy Christian, not doing anything. And no, works don't get us into heaven. That's not what I'm saying because in Matthews, it talks about, oh, haven't we done this in your name and this in your name? And uh, haven't we done this in your name? And then God says, get away from me for I never knew you. Because it's not on works. It's just filling out what God wants us to do and spending time with him and building a relationship with him. It's not about the works. It's about him, you and him. So build the relationship. I actually have a video on that. I always talk about that. I have a video on that. It's uh, how to build your relationship with God. I'll link it in the description if I remember. Hope you guys enjoy that video. Go check it out after this one if you haven't watched it already. Now, like I said, we shouldn't just be sitting around doing nothing. We know this world is crumbling and we know this is happening. We should be sharing the love of God. If we love God so much, we should be showing his love to others.
because we know how amazing it is, right? And we have that relationship with him, and we want everyone else to know we shouldn't be scared of the world. We should be scared of what, that's what the fear of God means. It doesn't mean, oh, I'm scared of God. It means you fear his wrath more than the wrath of the world. You fear him sending you to hell more and you not doing what he's called you to do than what the devil thinks of you or this world. We need to just remember to stop being lazy Christians and just sitting there doing nothing. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect at all at doing that. I slip up, we all slip up at some times, but we all strive to be perfect like our heavenly father is. We just have to remember to stop being lazy and start getting into God's word and building a relationship with him and preaching the word and just going out and doing what he has called us to do. Focus on you and your relationship with God. And I hope you guys have a great day. If you did enjoy this video, I encourage you to hit that like button. If you do enjoy my content, click that subscribe button and that little bell right by the subscribe button so you get notified every single time I post a video. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. See you guys later. Peace.